Dan Sports News here bringing you the sixth episode of the Dan Sports News and Friends podcast. You can follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Dan Sports News, Instagram at I am Dan Sports News to catch all my latest updates and articles in sports. Today's guest is Namari Burnett, who is a top ranked high school basketball player on Prolific Prep in California. And he has numerous Division I offers. Check it out. So for everyone who doesn't know who Namari Burnett is, who are you? Namari Burnett is a person who wants the best for anyone and everyone off the court. And on the court, um, I'm a a passer. You know, I can score in multiple ways, pop the dribble three-point shots, and they're running shots to the basket, and um, I, I'm a winner. Now, I know you're originally from Chicago, and we know that Chicago um, has some of the toughest basketball players. Um, Jabari Parker, Derek Rose, just to name a few. Um, what was it like growing up in Chicago and playing with that toughness there? It was very fun, and it taught me a lot as a basketball player and a person. It showed me that in order to be good in this game, especially in Chicago, you have to be tough and sometimes not care what anyone says and, and take matters into your own hands sometimes. So it really taught me how to be tough and be able to expect anything, you know, while you're on the court. Right. So... I know you were on a reality TV show on Lifetime called Bring Up Ballers. Um, I know the show was pretty much about your mom and the other moms, but it did revolve around you and the other kids because you guys were the basketball players, the athletes. What was it like being on that show? It was fun to show me, you know, how to, you know, handle being on TV and show me how I have to, speak around, you know, people, you know, with cameras and things like that. So it just made me become smarter as a person and know how to handle myself in public. Now, do any of your teammates at, like, Prolific Prep now know about that? Or, like, say, oh, we watched you on the show or anything like that? I'm sure most of them know those about it, but I don't speak on it. I don't know why. I just not like I'm embarrassed about it or anything. I just don't speak on it because, you know, my my focus and my, is on my future, and I'm um, just trying to stay locked in on that. So I haven't told anyone about it. Right. So um, before you transferred um, to Prolific Prep, well, just give, what was that experience like transferring, um, moving all the way out to California? Like I said before, you're originally from Chicago. What was it like that whole transition? Um, it was definitely stressful, you know, especially not expecting, you know, what it was going to be like out there and making the move that far across the country and stuff because you know you you're moving into a new place where you don't know a lot of people and you know adjusting can be tough. But at the end of the day, um, adjusting is you know it's, it's good. It's good to change. And, you know, good to experience other things in life. So, ultimately, it made me, you know, better as a person. And um, it really showed me how it is, you know, to move from place to place. Now, what was the biggest trans, the transition on the basketball court from the Chicago style of play to California and a bigger playing against more teams nationally around the country? What was that like? Um, the, the style of play was tougher. You playing against, you know, people who are super pros. You know, it's, it's, it's some in Chicago, but, you know, the schedule we have for prolific prep, um, we playing against pros, you know, people who can be pros, you know, at least every other game. Um, it just challenges you to be mentally and physically focused for every game. So, as a player, I think I got so much better, you know, from the transition, 
and um, it's only going to only going to help me in the future. All right, so um, share your thoughts on this past season, your junior year. How do you think the season went? Okay. Mm-hmm. How do you think? Um, my junior year is. Yeah, how do you okay. think the season went? And what things do you think you need to improve on going into senior year? Um, my junior season went well for me personally. I felt like I handled it. I handled it well, and um, I worked so hard to you know to where I've become. Um, we went thirty-one and seven, I believe. It was a long season, lots of injuries, and I feel like we prevailed through tough situations. And um. It's, you know, like I said, it's only going to make me better as a player. And uh, what I need to work on will probably be the mental aspect of it and just continue to stay locked in and focus and, and positive in every, you know, you know, every time in the game, every point in the game. So uh, I felt like I did well with that towards the end of the season, but I think I handled it better in the mid and the day after the season. Right. So would you say you accomplished what you wanted to accomplish this season or not really, not necessarily? Personally, I felt like I accomplished what I wanted, but not as a team. You know, I felt like the team we had to at least, you know, at least two or three losses. And granted, some of the losses were close games and could go either way, you know, but, you know, we, we always want to win and um, that's that's the only thing that I feel like, you know, didn't go my way or our way as the season went on. Right. So, I have to talk about the game against Spire and LaMelo Ball's team. Because that's like the main game that everyone was talking about. I know a lot of people don't really know that much about Prolific Prep because it is a new school. I think it only was like made like five years ago if I'm not mistaken but the game against Spire what? what happened talk to me about the game against Spire you scored 34 points and you beat them by 35 points which was their first loss of the season talk to me about that game the game was so fun the atmosphere was surreal um you know my teammates they were locked in as well as I and uh, we just went in there like, not having any, you know, uh, we didn't have any doubts in that game. We saw like we could beat the team and we had to put it together. And that's what we did. We played hard, played defense. That was uh, the main reason why we beat them by that much. And um, I just had fun out there as well as my teammates. And that's why we ultimately got the victory. Right. So, who would you say? was the toughest player so far that you've played against in your basketball career? You said the best player? Yeah. Hmm, that's a great question. Um, I played against Cole Anthony, Anthony over the summer, and I'll say he's the best player for you. And what team would you say was the toughest team that you've played so far in your basketball career? In my basketball career, um, I would say double the two cups and we lost to the end of the season. Right. Um, so how do you deal with the haters, all those people that try to bash you and stuff like that? How do you block that out? I block it out by knowing what I have in store for myself and just having ultimate confidence in myself and knowing that, you know, I can do whatever I can and it also comes from my parents and God, of course, you know, to push me through times where, you know, people might say things about you, but continue to stay within yourself and within the people who are around you to help you be better as a person in the basketball player. Yeah, for sure. Now, refresh my memory, because I'm not 100% sure, but after junior year, you can still play AAU basketball, right? Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Yeah, so which team will you be playing for this summer? Uh, I will be playing with Team Why Not, West and West. Oh, right, so that's uh, which circuit is that on? Nike, UIVO. 
Oh, so the Peach Jam tournament you guys will be going to, I assume? Yes, sir. All right. So, yeah, I'll definitely have to watch some of your games and make sure I get to see all those. Um, now, I know you have a lot of D1 offers. Um, you're still a junior, and you have tons of D1 offers. Can you run down the list of some of those schools that have offered you and which schools are some of the recent offers? Um, the schools have, that have offered me uh, is Stanford, um, Illinois, DePaul, Indiana, Cal, USC, Nevada, Marquette, Louisville, LSU, Oregon, Vanderbilt, Arizona, Arizona State, Ohio State, and John and Texas A and M. And um the most recent one was I believe Louisville and LSU. Alright. So do you know when you're gonna announce which school, like what time next season? Are you gonna wait for the season, your senior year to be done or in the middle? Do you have an idea yet of when you're going to announce it or not sure yet? Uh, not 100% sure yet, but I feel like I'm going to make my decision around between February and April. All right. Between those two months. All right. Um, just some fun questions. Um, have you been watching the NCAA tournament? Of course, of course. Yeah, so what are your thoughts on Zion Williamson? But well, my thoughts on him is that he plays relentless. That's why he's, you know, so good and going so good this year. He plays hard at all times, and he's a very unselfish player, and he's also humble. That's very good trait to have as a player. And um, I feel I can, you know, I'm, I'm humble as well, and I try to carry myself as such. And what do you think of Ja Morant from Murray State? And how he pretty much uh, went from unknown to now a lottery pick potentially. That shows how you have to really believe in working hard. And um, his story is is a very very um, good story to tell. And I'm sure he worked so hard to get where he is. And I like another player as a person. He seems even better. Um, he's a selfish, you know. I feel like he's a very complete player, and people might say he can't shoot, but I think he can. You know, he's you know he's gonna be good. He's gonna be really good. Right. Um. And what team is your favorite NBA team? The Boston Celtics. Oh wow, the Celtics, not the Bulls. Mm, well, you know, from me being Chicago, it was my favorite team, but. You know, the Celtics, they have a couple of my favorite players. You know, you got Kyrie, Jason Tatum, and, you know, I don't want to play as hard. That's why I like them. All right, so your favorite NBA player is Kyrie Irving? Yes. All right, yeah. So, I don't know if I said before, but, yeah, I'm from New Jersey. So, Kyrie Irving, he's from New Jersey. Yeah. Yeah, I actually have some mm -hmm. people I know who played against him back in the day in high school. Um, Very great player he is. Um. So, mm -hmm. who is your favorite musician, artist, rapper, or whatever? Um, I don't have a favorite one, but what I've been listening to, or who I've been listening to recently, is Black. He's, he's smooth, you know, he's good. Um, he's versatile as a uh, musician, so you can you can say him. Right. Um, do you have a favorite TV show to watch or anything? I have a couple. Um, this show called Flash. I'm sure some people know about that. Right, of course. And, um, Riverdale. Yeah, Riverdale and you on that too. All right. Now, if you weren't playing basketball, is there what sport would you play? Or is there anything else that you would do instead of basketball? I would say baseball. All right. And then now, just the last question about you. Um, I heard that you did get invited to Team USA tryouts this summer. What was your reaction to that and your thoughts on that? 
I was very excited, you know, I know how much way I put in, you know, over over the years and um, it was just like I said, a testament of uh, that hard work pays off. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that and ready to play hard and have fun. All right. So um before we wrap it up, let all the listeners know where they can follow you on all your social media and keep up with Namari Burnett. You can follow me on Twitter at Namari Burnett and follow me on Instagram at Namari Pat Burnett. All right. Thank you for coming on my show. Um, All the best to you. I hope you accomplish everything with your basketball career. Thank you, sir.